In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at installing and enabling and then configuring data deduplication. In order to actually use data deduplication, the first thing we have to do is we do have to install the data deduplication role service. So I've come to my file server. On my file server, I've come into server manager. What we're now going to do is add roles and features. Then what we'll do on the before you begin is we'll select next. Then on our installation type, we'll select next. Then on our server selection, we'll go with the server we're currently on and select next. Then what we'll do is in the case of our server roles is we'll just come down to our file and storage services. We'll expand this up. Then what we'll do is we'll come to our file and iSCSI services and expand this up. And what we want to enable here is data duplication. Then what we'll do is we'll select our next button. Then what we'll do is we'll select next. We don't install any additional features. Then what we'll do finally is select install and then we'll leave this to run. So this will just take a couple of minutes. So at this point, we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the installation is complete. Data duplication features now installed. So we'll just select the close button. Next thing we need to do is we just need to enable data duplication and we do this per disk. So all we'll do is I'm just going to first off come into File Explorer. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go to this PC. So we'll come to this PC. We'll just look at the drives we've currently got. So what I want to do is I want to enable data duplication on my D drive. So in order to do this, we'll just come back to Server Manager. We'll come to our File and Storage Services. And then what we'll do is we'll come to Disks. Then under Disks, what we're going to do is we're going to enable data duplication on our D drive. So we'll come to Disk 1. Under Disk 1, what we're going to do is we're going to enable it on Disk D. So we'll just right click on our D drive and what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to configure data deduplication. That brings us into a wizard. So at this point here, what we want to do for data deduplication is we're just going to use this as a general purpose file server. I actually want to deduplicate files all of them one day. At this point here, what we've got is default file extensions to exclude. So we're going to exclude any uh, EDB files and GRS files. And what we're going to do is in the case of custom file extensions to exclude, not going to bother adding any, but we will set our deduplication schedule. So during working hours, we always want the file server to perform optimally. So what we'll do is we're going to enable throughput optimization. So during the specified hours, run data duplication at normal priority and consume the resources to maximize performance. I'm happy with the days, I'm happy with the start time, I'm happy with the duration. So at this point here, all we're going to do is we're just going to select OK. So at this point here, we'll just select OK. And now what we've done is we've enabled data duplication on our D drive. Next thing we'll do is we'll just check the status of our data duplication. So to do that, we'll just come into Windows PowerShell. And we'll start issuing some commandlets to check our deduplication. And the first command I'll see here is a get hyphen dedupe status. So as you can see at this point, not really a lot happening. So what we'll do is we'll just clear the screen off. And what we'll do is we'll just issue the command, but we'll format the list, just get a bit more information out of this. So we'll just do the same command again. And then what we'll do is we'll just pipe that out and we'll just do a format list. So that goes away at this point here. So what we can see is we can see the capacity, we can see the free space, we can see the use space, so not a massive amount, only 193.04 megabytes and an optimized space is currently the 193.04 megabytes. So now what we'll do is we'll just do a get hyphen dedupe volume just to get some information relating to the volume. So we'll just clear the screen off just to make it a bit easier to read. We'll do our get hyphen dedupe volume. So at this point here it is enabled default so save space zero bytes savings rate currently zero percent. We'll do the same command again but this time we'll pipe that and we'll do a format list hit the enter key so it shows us information. Now one of the things that we specified that we were going to actually run the deduplication job on a schedule. So this point here the schedule hasn't yet kicked in. So what we're going to do is we're going to start manually a dedupe job on the D drive. So we'll just clear the screen off. So we're just going to start our dedupe job. We're going to do it on D drive. We're going to go for optimization. We're just going to specify the memory to be 50. So we'll hit the enter key. 
this has now started our deduplication job now this is just going to run through and hopefully we'll get a little bit of disk saving not a massive amount because as we saw the files on D drive only equate to 194 megabytes but what we'll do is we'll just pause the presentation at this point we'll give it a couple of minutes to run through the job and we'll return back and see if we've actually got any disk savings so we've left this for a few minutes so the first thing we'll do here is we'll just do our get hyphen dedupe status and then what we'll do is just hit the enter key so as we can see now we've optimized 16 files and we've managed to save 2.78 megabyte said it wouldn't be big but at least we have saved some space and that's the end of this demonstration thank you